Hello and welcome to Lockdown Learning with Tragic O'Hara. So last time we done some augmented reality stuff uh, and this time I thought I'd introduce you to the world of, well it's not a world but I thought we could do some digital drawing. Just an introduction, not an art lesson, just an introduction to some of the free apps that are out there that you can use to create digital artwork. I'm going to go over um, one which is available for Android and one that is available for iOS. They're both by Adobe. Uh, all you need for this is a tablet or you can use your phone for some of these. Um, this here is the Apple Pencil. I use this for all my drawings. Um, but it's not a prerequisite, you don't actually need an Apple Pencil to do this. It just makes life a little bit easier. You can buy other graphics, other pencils, other Bluetooth pencils. Um, I just really like this one. That's the only reason I use it. So as I say, not a drawing lesson as such, just an introduction to digital art uh, and how you can use these apps to make art. The first one we're going to talk about is Adobe Draw. Looking through the app store, there's an abundance of these. These are just the ones I use uh, that I know are free to use. Um, I use uh, an app called Procreate, which is £10 forever like there's no subscription nothing like that you pay 10 pounds and you've got it forever but it's only for ipad that's what i use for all my mock-ups all my art all my digital stuff i use procreate it's not a huge investment to get started and um, obviously the ipad costs a bit of money and so does the pencil and stuff like that but if you've already got an ipad 10 pounds no huge but there are free ones there uh, adobe draw sketch fresco the first one i'm going to show you is adobe draw adobe draw as the as a vector based illustration app if you've done the inkscape tutorial you'll know that a vector is a, a file type which will allow you to blow up to any size without losing quality down here on the right hand side you'll see your add and you can choose your canvas size with vector it doesn't really matter what your canvas size is to be fair just as long as your drawing will fit in that as i say you can blow up to any size that you want so we'll just go for a square canvas Right, here on the left hand side you've got different brush types, okay? Within them you can control the size, the opacity which just means how transparent it is and the colour and it's this colour wheel which you can also change into RGB or you can look through your history of colours that you've used. The colour wheel can be a bit pernickety. You need to choose down here by using this slider how light or how dark you want it. So if I choose red, I need to move the slider up to um, its brightest point to get that colour. Uh, so let's choose black. Okay. On the right hand side you'll get your layers. Now you can import pictures to draw around them. Uh, you can import different stuff as a reference. That little plus button will add in an image layer or a draw layer. If you add in an image layer, you can take your file, your picture that already exists, and import it. Or a draw layer will just be a blank layer that you can draw on. Now, with draw, if I just draw a square, a couple of squares, you can see on the first square that I've drawn, if I zoom in, it's open, it's got a gap. On the other one, it's completely closed. If I take my finger and hold it on the one that's closed, it'll fill it, but it won't let me do it for the one that's got the open path. Which means if you've drawn something and you just want to quickly fill it up, you can do it using that as long as the path is closed. I tend not to do that because if I was to do this on a different layer, for example, see if I go on the layer underneath and I draw around the inside of my colour, I can make my pen a bit bigger here, like that, and then fill it. It means if I go back later and I decide that I don't like the outline or there's something I want to fix. I've got it in two layers. Seagulls. That means I've got it in two layers. That's pretty much it. There's some settings down here where you can control the angles of your, of your brush, the size, the velocity dynamics and the pressure dynamics. So depending on how hard you hold down that pen, you'll see you get 
thicker and fa fatter, thicker and fatter lines. The faster you go, the thinner they'll be, the slower they go, and the heavier, the thicker they'll be. And that is Adobe Draw. That's very Adobe Draw is really basic how to use it and stuff. It's all layers. There's some tools like this one up here, which has got your shapes. So say instead of drawing that square like that, I can pick this square, and I can manipulate it to what I want it, what I want it to look like, and then it will draw round the inside like that. If you're doing that, I would suggest, because if I look at that now, you can see it's kind of thin at points and thick at points. I would suggest changing, switching off the velocity and the pressure dynamics, because that means that whatever you draw, the line will just be the same weight all the way through. It'll be the same weight. It will be the same. It means your line will be the same thickness all the way around. So if you're drawing a shape like this, it means that it will be nice, the same line width all the way around. And that is the basics of Adobe Draw. These different brushes just provide different um, different uh, shapes, essentially, just like you're using a brush anywhere else. Um, and that's a very quick Adobe Draw. From that, we'll jump into... Uh, We'll jump into Fresco. Fresco technically is free, but to unlock all the capabilities of it, you need to have a subscription with Adobe. This is the free version. I've signed up for the free version. Um, so everything you see me do here isn't on a paid subscription. In Fresco, you can draw vector and rasterized. I think it's rasterized. That basically means that if you blow up, you lose quality. You can mix the two of them, but it means that you'll still lose quality when you blow it up. So be aware of that. If you're working on something really, really small, like a, a postcard size, for example, and you want to blow it up, you might lose some quality. Uh, and I'm just going to go my size, which is the size of my screen. Now, up here, left-hand side, your tools. Same as draw. Right-hand side as your um, layers and stuff like that. This first brush is a pixel brush, which means you will lose quality on that brush. But as you can see, it looks almost like a pencil. So you can get some more pressure dynamics with this by using your finger, how hard you're going to go, how soft you're going to go. The pressure dynamics you're only really going to get with a pencil, to be fair. But it doesn't mean that you can't still use the app to make things. Um, underneath that, your live brush, you can pick what type of brush you want to use. So there's a watercolour flat. So you can see that I don't get the same pressure dynamics with my finger as what I do with the Apple Pencil or any sort of pencil. Um, but it really mimics the effect of watercolour really well. As you can see. Um, as you can see, there's loads of brushes that you can pick just by clicking on it, and you can pick whatever type of brush you want to use. To control the size of that, here on the left-hand side where you see where it says 175, you can pick what size you want it there. Um, so further down the screen, you can see that sort of stuff. Uh, the third brush down is your vector brushes. So any sort of vector art you want to make where you can blow up really big, this is where you get your crispness from. Now, vector stuff, you won't get the same opacity with your finger. Like, it doesn't exist because, or you won't be able to do it because that's a rasterized thing. The pixel brushes will create that stuff. So, if you're drawing in vector, you're going to get thick black lines anyway, um, or whatever color you want to use. Your color wheel is down here on up, uh, at the very bottom of your tool panel, and it's the square rather than the having to slide back and forth. Um, and it's the same idea over here with your with your layers. If you look at the left hand side, you can see that it's created two different layers for me. So this one here, if I just switch that one off there using the eye tool, is all my pixel brushes, which means when I zoom in, you can see the pixels. Whereas if I hide that one, the other layer is vector, and you can see you lose no quality whatsoever with that. So that will do that automatically for you. Just be aware 
that if you mix the two of them, you will eventually lose quality. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. You get your paint bucket tool so you can fill stuff, uh, undo and redo up in the corner. Um, and that's Adobe Fresco. I quite like Adobe Fresco, to be fair. Um, but moving on, Adobe Sketch. Adobe Sketch, this is the free version again, so no subscription, totally free. I'm going to pick iPad Pro and that will open up my sketch. So very, very, very similar to Adobe Draw. Um, same setup, brushes on the left hand side, layers on the right hand side, and the same sort of tools you can use up here. But this is not vector based at all. Neither it is. Um, and you can see you get a pencil brush there, pen, a kind of watercolour, not a watercolour, but a brush. Um, that's almost like oil. That's your watercolour. And a rubber to delete stuff. <laughs> They've all got rubbers, to be fair. <laughs> so you'll be able to delete or anything that you don't like. And if you double tap on it, that's how you open up the settings. It's pretty much exactly the same as Adobe Draw. Um, to create art that isn't vector-based, but there's just digital. So that's the three apps from Adobe that you can use to start creating digital artwork. Your Photoshop and your, uh, like that's part of the subscription based thing. But you've got Photoshop Sketch, or um, not Photoshop Sketch, Adobe Sketch, you've got Adobe Draw and you've got Adobe Fresco. Fresco is only available for iPad thus far, but you can still create digital artworks using Fresco. Um, Adobe Draw and Adobe Sketch. We will, in the next video, be creating a piece of art using that um, that we can then import into augmented reality and then use an Adobe Aero if you've got an iPad. Um, and that's what will be in the next lesson. I'll show you quickly while you're here. This is what I use. This is Procreate. So if I just open up one of my pieces, let's go with this. That there, um, as is Procreate, as I say, it's only it's ten pounds. Loads of brushes, um, you can manipulate loads of stuff. There's more tools in it than uh, some of the other, like Adobe Draw and, and Sketch and stuff. Um, but you can see the level of detail you can get. It's not a vector, but that's what I use. And that's that. That's a quick introduction to the world of digital art, how to make art for free um, on your phone, on your iPad, on your tablet, your Kindle, your Samsung, whatever, whatever you've got, you can get an app like this or similar to this and start drawing. Um, you can buy a third party, not even a third party, you can buy different graphics, um, pens, what do you call these? Bluetooth pencils, Bluetooth pens are pencils, and you can use them to create your own stuff. Um, or if you don't, you can just use a digit works exactly the same, well it doesn't work exactly the same, but you can still get it <laughs> with, the, with a finger. Um, and that's it, thank you very much for watching, next time we'll import these into AR, into Aero, and we'll start manipulating them uh, in augmented reality. Um, thank you very much, you can get me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, at Mr Tragic O'Hara, join the Lockdown Learning with Tragic O'Hara Facebook group, post up what you make, um, we are now up to we're over 750 people which is amazing so anyone you know that's into this sort of stuff just add them um, and if you can't afford to you can donate using the GoFundMe link in the description uh, to help me make more videos like this and that's it, that's it, hit the subscribe button I'll be releasing more stuff uh, I make loads of videos that's what I was really getting into before the kind of lockdown thing happened so I've got videos up about spray painting uh, painting guitars, uh, some music stuff, there's there's rakes of different things that I do, so um, make sure you hit the subscribe button and go check out some of that stuff, and thank you very much for watching, catch you next time, cheers. Oh, and let me know in the comments if there's any more apps that I've missed out that are for free, that's the three I know of, know of and the three I use, thank you, cheers.